The former Cal Poly track and field star Shelby Danielle reportedly died from a brain aneurysm following the 23-year-old standout athlete's death on an unexpected loss right here at CBS. News anchor Anna Orsini from our Tucson affiliate KOLD passed away suddenly from a brain aneurysm. She was just 28 years old. I'm Dr. Betsy Grunch, a board-certified neurosurgeon, and let me explain how someone so young can die from a brain aneurysm. Brain aneurysms in young people, though less common than in older adults, can still occur and pose very serious health risks. A brain aneurysm is a bulging or ballooning part of a blood vessel in the brain that's caused by a weak spot in the vessel wall. If it ruptures, it can lead to a life-threatening condition called a subarachnoid hemorrhage, or bleeding on the brain. Brain aneurysms are less common in people under 40, but not unheard of. Research shows that one to 2% of the general population harbor an unruptured aneurysm at any age. Some people are born with a predisposition to aneurysms due to weak vessel walls. Connective tissue disease, conditions like Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or polycystic kidney disease can also increase your risk. Lifestyle factors such as smoking, Drug use, especially cocaine and hypertension, can increase your risk of brain aneurysm rupture. Trauma, such as head injuries, can lead to secondary aneurysms in younger people. Most aneurysms are asymptomatic, or meaning you have no symptoms until they rupture. If an aneurysm ruptures, it usually causes a thunderclap headache or a headache that's the most severe headache that you've had in your entire life. If a brain aneurysm ruptures, it can lead to bleeding on the brain, causing serious brain injury or death in up to half of cases. Survivors of a brain aneurysm can have long-lasting neurological deficits. If identified before ruptured, aneurysms can be treated with endovascular techniques such as stenting or coiling, or sometimes surgery by an aneurysm clipping. How do we diagnose an aneurysm? Imaging studies can be utilized to help diagnose an aneurysm, including an MRA, CTA, or cerebral angiography. Should I be screened for an aneurysm? Screening is often recommended for those that have a family history or genetic risk factors that may predispose them to developing aneurysms. How can I prevent or reduce my risk of developing an aneurysm? Avoiding smoking, tight blood pressure control, and minimizing recreational drug use are ways that you can prevent an aneurysm rupture. Regular monitoring of known aneurysms is important, especially in young individuals with smaller aneurysms. Of course, I don't know why Shelby developed an aneurysm at such a young age, and it's truly a tragic loss to her family and to her community. My thoughts go out to them as they deal with this devastating loss.